Dear students, welcome to today's class. Today I am going to explain uh, some important problems uh, in the chapter limits. Okay now, so to solve those type of problems, there are some important expansions are there. They are very, very important. So all of you must and should learn those who are preparing for JE mains examinations. Okay, so what are those expansions is? The first expansion is e power x. e power x, a power x and these two are called exponential functions log of 1 plus x log of 1 minus x they are called logarithmic function sin x cos x tan x they are trigonometric functions 1 plus x whole power 1 by x is also one type of expansion or uh, exponential function must and should at least you have to learn these two these are uh, eight uh, expansions okay so first one e power x expansion is 1 plus x upon 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus x square x cube by 3 factorial so on infinity. <clears throat> Here a power x uh, expansion is 1 plus x by 1 factorial log a to the base e plus x square 2 by upon x square upon 2 factorial times log a to the base e whole square plus so on. So from this uh, a power expansion you can get e power expansion very easily. So how where, where, <clears throat> wherever a is there keep e the problem will be over. So, here log e to the base e is 1. Log e to the base e is 1 square. That means, sir, uh, if you remove these, these terms, if you remove these terms, you will get the e power x expansion. 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus so on infinity. The only thing uh, remembering means here second term log e to the base e log a to the base e whole square next term is x cube by 3 factorial into log a to the base e whole cube plus so on infinity clear clear so this is the way how to learn so e power x a power expansions are both are similar the only thing is log a to the base e log a to the base e whole square log a to the base e whole cube so on infinity okay now right so, those are the expansions of e power x and a power x. Coming to log of 1 plus x, log of 1, by 1 minus x. So, here starts with x. x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 minus x power by 4 plus so on infinity. The condition is modulus of x is less than 1. That means x value lies between minus 1 and plus 1. Coming to log of 1 minus x expansion. This is a minus of total bracket. So, this is a x plus x square by 3 plus x cube by 3 plus x power 4 by 4 so on. So, what you observe here? These two terms, terms are same but signs are different. x, x, x square by 2, x square by 2, x cube by 3, x cube by 3, x power 4 by 4, x power 4 by 4. Terms are same but their signs are different. Here starting plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus will come when it is plus is there. If it is minus, minus of that means all minus actually minus, 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 minus will come. That means take minus common root side minus of x plus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 plus x power 4 by 4 so on infinity. That means like that you have to comparatively how to study. So, in the numerator 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. Here also denominator 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. Numerator x power 1, x power 1 by 1. So, here 1, 2, 3, 4. That means x, x square, x cube, x power 4. Denominator 1, 2, 3, 4. So, if it is plus is there, alternate plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus will come. If it is minus is there, all minus will come. All minus. That means x power 1 by 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on. Denominator 1, 2, 3, 4, so on, infinity. That's all. This is an expansion of. Uh, like that, you can remember, uh, you can compare with the uh, e power expansion. So, here also numerator 1, 2, 3. Here denominator 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial is there. But here no factorials. Only 1, 2, 3, 4, like that, so on. Like that. Comparatively, logically, you have to think, then you can easily understand. Here, x by 1 factorial. Here, x by 1. x square by 2 factorial. Here, x square by 2. Here, x cube by 3 factorial. Here, x cube by 3. Understand? No factorials. 
these two like that you have to remember now coming to sin x cos x tan x these three you learn at a time these three expansions you learn at a time don't uh, learn the each in each expansion individually don't by heart that don't by heart that think in a logical way all the three expansions sin x cos x tan x three expansions let us see here if you observe here 1 3 5 odd numbers that means x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x power 5 by 5 factorial minus that means plus minus plus minus one thing you remember plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus for tan all plus that is the first thing you have to remember sine and cos plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus will come for tan all are positive terms next one one more thing is here x power 1 by 1 factorial that means observe the powers 1 3 5 so on they are odd numbers as usual denominator 1 factorial 3 factorial 5 factorial so on now coming to here x power 0 you can write out here x power 0 0 2 4 6 8 as usual denominator 2 factorial 4 factorial so on will come okay so for sin x odd numbers cos x even numbers plus minus plus minus here also plus minus plus minus will come coming to tan x <coughs> tan x is a odd numbers only x power 1 x cube by 3 plus 2 into x power 4 5 by 15 so on infinity will come okay now so like that sin x cos x tan x these expansions <coughs> Don't just read the expansions, you write it on a paper. You write it on a paper. Generally, students, what they will do now, these expansions, they just read the expansions. That's not like that. You write it on a paper. You write it on a paper, then you can understand easily. Then you can remember easily. Okay, now, right. The last expansion is uh, 1 plus x whole power 1, my, 1 by x is equal to e into 1 minus x by 2 plus 11 by 24 x square minus so on it will come so these are the very very important uh, expansions uh, actually so many are there so basically you learn minimum you learn these expansions e power x a power x log of 1 plus x log of 1 minus x sin x cos x tan x okay now this is also 1 plus x whole power 1 minus x. this is the basic expansions that you should learn for solving the problem now we are going to solve some problems uh, uh, using these expansions okay now so let us continue our class welcome to this problem that is limit extends to 0 sin x minus x plus x cube by 6 by x upon x to the power of 5 value is what is that so this problem you can do using uh, if you substitute x tends to 0 here you will get uh, 0, 0, 0 by x power 5. You can do this problem using L hospital rule. But the thing is, you have to differentiate these both numerator and denominator almost 5 times. First x power 5. Again, x power 5 differentiation, x power 4. Again, 3. Again, 2. Again, 1. Last almost 4 times you have to differentiate both numerator and denominator to get the answer but if you know the expansion of sin x generally students whenever such type of problems is given they start doing l hospital rule okay you can do the problem no uh, nothing wrong in it you will get the answer but if you know the expansion of sin x the problem is very very easy now i will show i will uh, uh, do this problem using expansion okay right so limit extends to 0 what is the sin x expansion just now we explain that is equal to what uh, this is a uh, odd numbers 1 minus x sorry 1 minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x power 5 by <coughs> sorry here x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x power 5 by 5 factorial minus x power 7 by 7 factorial will so on infinity. So odd numbers power 1 1 3 5 7 odd numbers starting plus minus plus minus plus minus for cos also 
plus minus plus minus will come but even even coefficient uh, even powers will come starting with one okay now right minus x plus x power 6 sorry x power 3 up upon 6 whole to the power of x power 5 okay now right see here any more cancellations are there yes some cancellation terms are appearing why what is this plus x minus x minus x cube by 3 factorial 3 factorial means 6 that means minus x cube upon 6 plus x cube upon 6 those are cancelled terms next here is x to the power of 5 should be divided with each and every term of the numerator if i divide with this term that means x power 5 x power 5 will get cancelled so this will come 1 by 5 factorial 1 by 5 factorial next here if i divide with uh, x power 7 if i divide with the x power 5 here in the numerator x square will come x square by 7 factorial as x tends to 0 0 square 0 remaining all terms you will get 0 0 0 so on understand so 1 by 5 factorial that means 1 by 120 120 is the right answer understand just one step one step you got the answer okay first suppose if the same problem students uh, they did in a l hospital rule see how many steps will takes place now i am going to solve this problem using l hospital rule so this is equal to limit x tends to 0 sin x derivative is cos x minus 1 plus x cube derivative is 3x square 3 ones are 2 that is a x square by 3 3 ones are 3 twos are 2 cancel here that means 3x square 3 ones are 3 twos are cancel this implies x power 5 is 5x to the power of 4 okay now still you are getting 0 by 0 form why cos x x tends to 0 cos 0 is equal to how much 1 1 minus 1 cancel 0 square by 2 0 here also 0 still you are getting 0 by 0 form again we will do limit x tends to 0 cos x derivative to minus sin x plus minus 1 derivative to 0 x square derivative to 2x 2 2 will cancel x this is equal to 4 5 are 20 x cube okay now still you are getting 0 by 0 0 by 0 again do the differentiation limit x tends to 0 sin x derivative is cos x minus cos x plus x derivative is 1 here how much 60 x square still you are getting 0 by 0 by cos 0 is 1 minus 1 plus 1 0 here also 0 again next still differentiation that is equal to limit x tends to 0 cos x derivative is minus sin x already sin x is there sin x by 60 x square derivative x square derivative is 120 x that is equal to 1 by 120 understand this why limit x tends to 0 sin x by x is equal to 1 okay dear students what i am going to tell is so here see how many steps it takes that is 1, 2, 3, 4 steps. There one and only one step. One and only one step you are getting the answer. Understand? So that is the use of the expansions. Okay. Luckily, luckily here every term it is not there is no u and v formula. There is no u and v formula. If it has any u and v formula is there, uh, it takes uh, much time to do this. Okay. Na? So I hope that you understand this both the method. So, whenever it is possible, always uh, go for expansion type, okay, now always go for expansion type, okay. Let us see some more problems using trigonometric expansions. Welcome to this problem. So, limit x tends to 0, 1 minus cos x into cos 2x into cos 3x upon sin square 2x. So, if you apply x tends to 0 uh, condition as wherever x is equal to 0 is there. Now cos 0 is 1, cos 2 into 0, cos 0 is 1, cos 3 into 0, cos 0 is 1, sin 0 is 0, that means 1 minus 1, 0 by 0 you are getting. So what you are getting? 
0 by 0, which is a indeterminate form. So if you do L hospital rule, it is a very, very difficult to, very, very difficult to do. That means, otherwise generally students, they start doing, combining these, uh, uh, expansion this, that cos x into cos 2x, multiplying and uh, dividing with uh, 2 and uh, 2 cos a cos b cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b, like that they will start doing. But the thing is here, but the thing is here, if you start doing like, like that, the problem will be very, very difficult. This type of problems can be done using expansions, using trigonometric expansions only you can do this problem. Here see I will solve this problem, how to do this. So this is equal to limit x tends to 0, 1 minus, what is cos x expansion? Just now I explained, 1 minus x square by 2 factor. Here what you have to do is avoid the uh, higher other uh, higher powers that means uh, x power 4, x power 5, x power so you avoid you can avoid them, you can avoid them no problem in it ok now. So that is equal to cos x, cos x means just I am writing x square by 2 factorial first term only writing right into cos 2x expansion is 1 minus Ah, 2x whole square by 2 factorial, ok now, cos 3x expansion is 1 minus cos 3x by 2x whole square, that means in place of x, right, 2x in place of x, 3x, I am taking only just two terms only, Amma. just two terms only I am doing, divided by, divided by sin square 2x, sin square 2x, 2x, ok, leave it 2x, sin square 2x. So, here what is the expansion? Take only one time, one term is enough, 2x whole square that is equal to 4x square. Now, you can do easily this expansion. So, this is equal to limit x tends to 0, 1 minus, 1 minus this is a x square by 2 into 1 minus, this is a 4x square that means 2 will cancel, that means 2x square, 1 minus so, this is a 3 square 9x square, 9x square by 2 whole divide 4x square, understand. So, if you observe here, the actually this x square should you have to divide with uh, uh, in these two terms, you have to separate x square, it will get cancelled. Here, let us take multiply these two. So, what happens, let us see, limit x tends to 0, 1 minus of, now if you multiply these two, Take the powers which is more than 2, avoid, you can avoid, that is 1 into 1, 1, take it, 1 into 2x minus 2x square, you take it, minus, uh, how much this is, minus 1 by 2x square, you take, here x square into x square, x power 4 will come, x power 4 by x square, x square will come, you can avoid that, so into 1 minus 9x square by 2 upon 4 minus x square, ok now, again, so this is equal to limit x tends to 0, so here 1 is as usual, 1 minus 1 minus, now you multiply 1 into 1, 1, 1 into minus 9 by 2 x square, minus 9 by 2 x square, ok, minus 2 x square into 1, minus 2 x square, minus 2x square, minus into minus plus x square into x square, x power 4, you just avoid it, right, minus 1 by 2 into x square into 1, just minus 1 by 2 x square, whole divided by 4 x square, understand this, right, now, <coughs> now expansion, here plus 1 minus 1 will get cancelled, plus 1 minus 1 will get cancelled, what are the things that remains there? So, that is equal to 9 by 2 x square plus 2 x square plus 1 by 2 x square whole divided by 4 x square. So, take the numerator x square, denominator x square, it gets cancelled. So, your answer is uh, if you take LCM 2, so there in the numerator 9 plus 1, 10, uh, 10 plus 9. So, here 9 plus 1, 10 you will get, 
10 plus 4, uh, 9 by 2 plus 2 plus 1 by 2 by 4. Ultimately, your answer should be 7 by 4. Let us check it. So, here 9 plus 1, 10, 10 plus 4, 14, 14 by 2, 7. If you take the LCM, 9, here 4, 9 plus 4, 13, 13 plus 1, 14, 14 by 2, 7, 7, here 4, 7 by 4 will be your answer. Such an easy step that you have to get. Here what we are doing is, first I am writing only two terms. I am writing two terms only. While multiplying, here denominator x square is named, no? the powers of x which are more than 2 are I am reducing. I am eliminating. No need. Why? Because as x tends to 0, those terms will be becomes uh, 0. Okay, na? So, I hope that you understand this problem which I solved using uh, trigonometric expansions. Okay. So, let us see some more problems. There is a very, very important uh, theorem is there in a uh, chapter limits that is called sandwich theorem or skews principle. So, sandwich, uh, have you heard this word as yes, everybody heard that we, we have the, uh, we hear the word sandwich. What is meant by sandwich? In the upper and bottom, there will be a bread and in between uh, some cream will be there that is called sandwich. Here also such a type of uh, three functions are there. So, the functions are f of x is less than or equal to g of x is less than or equal to h of x. That means they are in increasing order. So, that means, uh, so this is equal to f of x is less than or equal to g of x is less than or equal to h of x. Understand? Such a type of functions are there for all x belongs to the domain of those functions. For all x belongs to the uh, combined domain of these functions, intersection and matter, intersection domain. Okay, now, right. At that time, we have limit extends to 0 f of x is less than or equal to limit extends to a g of x is less than or equal to limit extends to a h of x. Therefore, their limit values are also, they are in the same increasing order. That is the first thing we have to remember. The second thing is, if the, of suppose, if this uh, the limit extends to a f of x value is some l and this is also same l, limit extends to f of x is l and limit extends to a h of x value is equal to also l, then it gives that limit extends to a g of x value is also l. Same limit values uh, output will come. So, if it is for output l, it is also output l. Here also the limit value will become L. So, this is called sandwich theorem. So, the same principle apply even for greater than or equal to also. Okay, now I hope that you understand this sandwich theorem or skews principle we call it as. So, basing on this, there is a very, very important problem is there which is on a step function. Let us see that problem. Welcome to this problem. Very nice problem using on step function. Limit n tends to infinity, step of x plus step of 2x plus so on, step of nx uh, upon n square is equal to x by 2. Okay, now. So, to do this problem, uh, I already explained about the step function. We have a very nice property in step function. What is that property is? So, step of n is less than n less than or equal to n less than or equal to n minus 1. This property we have. That means n minus 1 less than or equal to step n less than or equal to n. That means step n value lies between n minus 1 n. That is the first two thing that we have to remember. Now, here in place of n you can substitute anything. You can substitute anything. Nothing wrong in it. So, I will write it as uh, rx minus 1 less than or equal to step of rx less than or equal to rx. R is a, now I will tell what is r. Afterwards, I will write the, apply the sigma notation. That means sigma r runs from 1 to n, rx minus 1 less than or equal to sig, uh, sorry, sigma r runs from 1 to n step of rx. So, here I am going to create in the middle sandwich theorem in the middle function. I am going to create this function. I am going to create the numerator function that is step x plus step of 2x plus step of 3x so on step of nx. That uh, function I am going to create in the center middle. 
r runs from 1 to uh, n that is less than or equal to sigma r runs from 1 to n which is rx simply rx okay now now see here in the center is our function we got uh, created that function yes how r runs from 1 to n first put 1 here step x first term we are getting r runs from 2 2 you substitute 2x 3x 4x ultimately last term nx step of nx so the center function is nothing but your required function of course by n square i will see right first uh, let us afterwards we will put n square afterwards first up to here you see here r runs from 1 to n that means sigma r here r runs from 1 to n sigma r means what sigma n sigma n formula n into you know the formula this also sigma n sigma n is n into n plus 1 upon 2 that formula is there so here also sigma r runs from 1 to n means what here uh, 1x 2x 3x 1x plus 2x plus 3x plus x you can take common here you can write down n into n plus 1 upon 2x minus here 1 plus 1 plus 1 of course minus you have taken common outside 1 plus 1 plus how many ones you have to write down n ones you have to write down that's why n less than or equal to this is nothing but your function don't uh, disturb this function as it is you write down less than or equal to so here also sigma r sigma r means what n into n plus 1 by 2x that means sigma r means 1x plus 2x plus 3x plus 4x take it x here x is a uh, constant you take it outside here r runs from 1 to n means r is a variable x is a constant take x constant outside n into n plus 1 by 2 okay, okay nice so to create this function we want by n square by n square so that's why you divide with n square by n square divided by n square divided by n square okay now let, let us see what happens so if you simplify this if you simplify this this is equal to n square here uh, i will write down this is a n square by 2 plus so this is equal to n into 1 n x by 2 minus n divided by n square this is your required function i am writing f of x that is your required function f of x here also n square by 2 plus n by 2 into x by n square okay now see here n square n square will get cancelled here n square n square will get cancelled here 1 by 2 will come so this is equal to 1 by 2 plus this is equal to n square n square now here in the numerator you will get uh, n x by 2 minus n by n square that is 1 by n okay now understand this as n tends to infinity mm, once again i am checking uh, this uh, n into n n square that is n square n into 1 n n by 2 by 2 by 2 x here also x will come no here also x will come here also x will come less than or equal to your function less than or equal to here also n square n square will get cancelled 1 by 2 plus n n will get cancelled 1 by 2 n into x here also x will come here also x will come okay right if you now if you observe here here n by n square no here denominator n will come denominator n will come see here denominator n will come n square by n n square by n denominator n will come now almost the problem is over apply limit n tends to infinity so if you apply limit n tends to infinity see here here n tends to infinity means n is a variable x can be treated as a constant so here x by 2 is a constant here x by 2 is a constant here 1 by n as n tends to infinity 1 by n tends to 0 this is 0 1 by n uh, uh, becomes 0 here also x 1 by 2 n is there no? denominator 2 n this also will become 0 that means 
this value will become 0, this value will become 0, this value is also become 0. So, here what remains? x by 2, it is also here x by 2, x by 2, x by 2 remains. Therefore, limit x tends to infinity, your function f of x is equal to x by 2, you will get x by 2. So, such a type of problems are giving in uh, JE mains examination. The only thing is, it is given step function, that is why first you should know this property n minus 1 less than or equal to n less than or equal to n, that property you have to know. Afterwards, I have created this function in the middle, that means step of Rx. Here Rx, here Rx minus 1. So, this is an uh, up to n terms is there to make simplification, we are applied sigma notation. Afterwards, I have expanded sigma notation from left side and right side, keep it, uh, keep the function, center function as it is by n square, by n square, by n square, by n square, I separated. So, here sigma r means sigma n, sigma n means n into n plus of 1 by 2. Here x is a constant, x is a constant, why because r runs from 1 to n, r is a variable, x is a constant, x as it is right now. Here minus 1 means what? Minus 1 plus minus 1 minus 1 minus 1. How many minus 1s are there? n minus 1 will be there. That is why minus n. Same also apply here. So, use expand separate here. Separate here. You will get x by 2. Here also x by 2. By according to the sandwich theorem. Sandwich theorem. So, your answer is center function is also takes the same limit as the function takes left hand side function and the right hand side function. Right side function. Okay. I hope that you understand this uh, problem. So, let us see one more problem. After learning a uh, heavy uh, problem, a heavy solution, let us take a very light problem. So, here there is a uh, three types of functions are there. So, 3 minus x square upon 2 less than or equal to f of x less than or equal to 3 plus x square upon 9. Then the value of limit extends to 0 f of x is very nice problem. So, this is just like uh, uh, this is uh, it is of the form f of x is less than or equal to g of x is less than or equal to h of x. Okay, now. So, he is asking limit extends to 0 f of x. So, apply the limit extends to 0 on either side limit extends to 0 3 minus x square by 12 less than or equal to limit extends to 0 f of x less than or equal to limit extends to 0, 3 plus x square by 9. Okay, now. now, wherever x is there, substitute 0 as per the property. So, this is equal to 3 less than or equal to limit extends to 0, uh, f of x less than or equal to, this also 3. Therefore, limit extends to 0, f of x value is 3. Very, very nice problem, very, very easy problem this is. Okay. So, I hope that you understand this solution. Let us see some more problems. Previously, I explained the problem here. Step x will be there. Step x will be there. Step x will be there. But here, it is a fractional part function. It is a step of x. Sorry, fractional part of x. This is a fractional part of 2x. This is so on. Fractional part of nx by n square. We know that. We know that fractional part function is less than 1 less than or equal to 0. This is the property we have. 0 less than or equal to fractional part x is less than or equal to what is the fractional part means? So, this is equal to x minus step x. So, x minus step x what you will get always preferring the values 0 to 1 integral that is what integral part function we call it as it just integral part you will get. So, all values lies between 0 to 1. Of course, if it is an integer, for example, if it is a 5 is equal to 5 minus 5 0. If it is an integer, you will get 0. If it is not an integer, you will get the value between 0 to 1. Understand this fractional part function. Right. So, here <coughs> then how to do this? So, we know that 0 less than or equal to step of fractional part, sorry, this is a 1. Okay, now we know that. This is also we know that 0 less than or equal to 2x less than or equal to 1. So, on 0 less than fractional part nx less than 1. 0 less than or equal to fractional part of nx less than 1. 
Now add all these functions. Why? Because plus 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 is there. No. So if you add 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus is 0 less than or equal to fractional part of x plus fractional part of 2x plus so on fractional part of nx less than. See here 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus how many ones are there? n ones are there. So why? Because here 1, 2, 3, so on, n is there. This type of functions are n functions are there. Therefore, 1 plus 1 plus 1, how many ones are there? n ones are there. That's why n. Nice. Now, what we required? By n square divided by n square. That's why by n square whole divided by n square whole divided by n square. Okay, now very nice. Now, next what we want? Limit n tends to infinity. So, here also limit n tends to infinity, here also limit n tends to infinity, here also limit n tends to infinity. Okay now, so it is anyhow this value is 0. This is 0 less than or equal to your function is less than or equal to. See here n by n square, n square will cancel 1 by n. As n tends to infinity, 1 by n tends to 0. Therefore, the answer for this problem is equal to 0. Understand this? So, the only thing first of all what you have to do. So, this is something uh, uh, a very easier comparatively uh, step function problem, step function problem. Okay, that also very easy, but there we use uh, sigma n all those type of problems, but here very, very easy. That means a fractional part of x is raised between 0 to 1 fractional part of 2x lies between 0 to 1. I added all the things. This side, the left side part is 0, the right side part is n. Afterwards, I created center. Center function, you have to create this function. Welcome to this problem. It was asked in 2010, uh, typically. So, f is a function from r to r, be a positive increasing function, positive increasing function with the limit extends to infinity f of 3x upon f of x is equal to 1. Then what is the value of limit extends to infinity f of 2x upon f of x. So, on the, on the whole there are 3 functions are you are looking. So, what are the 3 functions what that we are seeing here f of x, f of 2x and here f of 3x. Since he is saying an increasing function, we know that f of x is less than or equal to f of 2x is less than f of 3x. This is an increasing order. Since r to r be an increasing function. Okay now. Now what I am going to do is uh, divide with uh, f of x. Divide with f of x. That is it will become 1. This is f of 2x by f of x less than or equal to f of 3x by f of x. Okay now. Right we got f of 2x upon f of x, f of 2x upon f. Here what is there? Limit extends to infinity. So, apply limit extends to infinity here, here 1 less than or equal to limit extends to infinity, f of 2x upon f of x less than or equal to limit extends to infinity, f of 3x upon f of x. It is already given. It is this value is anyhow, its value is g1, sorry, its value is 1 limit extends to infinity f of 3x upon f of x value is given how much 1 therefore your center function limit extends to infinity f of 2x upon f of x value is also how much 1 so that is your answer very very logical problem here so it is an increasing function f of x f of 2x f of 3x if you write down the problem is over okay now i hope that you and uh, you understand this question so, dear students, I hope that you enjoyed today's class with uh, some more problems from this uh, limit chapter. I will stand before you in the uh, tomorrow's class. Until then, all the best.